also share how cute my shirt is, by the way. It's like this share. So my mom bought it for me and I absolutely love it. It's a little crop top, but Hey y'all, my name is Ashley. I'm a collector and hoarder of makeup. And to continue to collect and hoard makeup, I promised my husband that I would make content. So here I am. All right, today I'm gonna go ahead and do a tutorial on how I do my colored brows. I was actually really excited because someone requested this and I didn't think it was something that people wanted to learn how to do, but here we are. Today I'm also gonna be sharing with you with the brow products I love and hate, and maybe there'll be a couple that you haven't tried or heard of that might interest you into trying it. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, I really just wanna dive into this tutorial and I wanna start off by saying there's like a couple different ways you could do this. Um, the lazy girl way, which is the way I do it, which is I don't kind of prime my eyebrows to make them brighter, but you could use a white lash primer to put on your brows, let it dry. That way the color is bolder and it kind of turns your eyebrow hairs white, so that way it just pops a little bit more. That's not what I'm gonna do, but that is the only difference that you could make with the style that I do my eyebrows. So when I do use that technique, I use the Kush Lash Primer by Milk Makeup. This is a mini, but I'm going to do it the lazy girl way, cause I'm kinda on like a time frame today. So I'm gonna start off by brushing my brow hairs out. That way I kind of have an idea of what shape I want to do, which usually is the same. I'm very angular with my brows. I like the high tail, low front, very sharp at the tail. So I'm just going to brush my brows out just real quick. And the first step I usually do, which doesn't involve putting the color on yet, is I'm going to line underneath my brow. And I like to use the Huda Beauty Balm Brows. And the reason I love this one just so much is because this is the smallest brow pencil I have ever, oh, please tell me there's some in here. Okay, there is. It is the smallest brow, you can't even tell, but it's smaller than the Precisely My Brow from Benefit, which is the one I used to use all the time. I bought this when it first came out and I've fallen in love with it. So like I always do, I am just going to be doing this brow on camera. This is my good brow anyway, I think. No, I lie, this is usually my better brow. I'm just going to underline the brow. What's really hard about doing this as a tutorial is I'm very particular on how I do my brows. I like them to be perfect. So doing them on camera is kind of nerve wracking. Also, it's super hard to talk at the same time. After that line is drawn, I like to go through and brush that line up, blend it with my brows, and then we can go ahead and add some color. I've tried colored eyebrow pencils before. Lime Crime has one, and they did come out with a green. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Bushy Brow Pomade Stick. I hate this product. I wasted my money on this product. I'm gonna start off with the massive tip it has, and I really don't like how waxy it is. And you know what sucks? It is the perfect color. Like it matches my hair perfectly. And I hate this so, so much. It was such a disappointing moment when I bought this because I was like, holy shit, colored eyebrow products. I was super excited. I've always done my eyebrows really funky to match my hair. When I had red hair, my brows were red. And that was before Benefit came out with a red eyebrow pencil. So I was using eyeshadow then as well. And then I did buy the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the, the auburn shade they had. And then when my hair was purple, I was using purple eyeshadow. So now with my hair being green, I use green eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm currently using on my brows is going to be Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Money Palette. I'll pop it open for you so you can see how well loved the shades are. So I tend to use the shade down here, the shade and the shade. And the first shade I'm going to jump into is the shade Jaded, which is the darker green in this palette. And I'm going to be applying it from my arch all the way down to my tail. I still do the ombre brows. I'm not a fan of the bushy brow. I do my hair brow bushy in the front right here, and then everything else is nice, clean, and precise. So it's kind of like a little bit of a combination, but I never got into the whole like soap brow, put your brows all the way up kind of thing. I just really don't like the way it looks on me. I have a smaller face, 
And I also am a fan of making my makeup very sharp and angular. So having a bushy brow with very sharp makeup doesn't really go to me. It doesn't, so it's, it's just not for me. So I went ahead and put the shade on a liner brush, or this is a brow brush from Benefit Cosmetics. This is my favorite one, and I've tried other brands, but the brush, the angled brush on this is just perfect for picking up eyeshadow to place on your brow. And I love the spoolie on this as well. Easy to clean, hasn't fallen apart, and I've had this one for years. So I'm gonna take the shadow, and I'm going to start off by pressing it in my arch and then sweeping it down into my tail. And when you do this, when you use eyeshadow for your brows, do not do any of your other makeup beforehand because you are going to experience fallout because you're not blending it into your brows. You're pressing it into your brows. You're gonna experience the fallout. I'm still applying it in my arch, bringing it down until I have the start of my brow. And then I'm going to take it and push it up into the brow hairs. I'm kind of flicking it as I go. Next, I'm going to dip into like the medium shade that I'll use, which is going to be the shade Crocodile Tears. So this is a little bit lighter than the shade Jaded. And that's where you're gonna put, you're gonna, you're not gonna put it in the front of your brow, but you're gonna put it in the in-between area, blending with the darker shade. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just going to line underneath and then I'm going to flick it into my brow hairs again. And finally, I'm going to use the lightest shade and it's gonna be the shade Mint Condition. And I'm gonna start off in the front. And at first it's, it's gonna look weird on camera because you're like, why are you putting mint in your brows? But when you blend it in with the other shades, it does give that really nice ombre effect, which is what I personally like to go for. And then this is where the blending comes in. I'm gonna put Crocodile Tears, blend it in with mint condition. So it kind of makes that medium tone green between those two. And now I'm going to clean up my brows. I have lots of little green fallout underneath my brow. And I like to clean up my brows with primer, not concealer. If you watch Robert Welsh, you should know not to use concealer, but also concealer's for under your eyes. That's all it's for, and that's what it needs to be used for. So the eye primer I'm gonna be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. This works really great to clean up my brows. I used to use it as an eye base all the time. It's not my favorite anymore, but I will continue to buy that product just because it cleans up my brows so, so nicely. And to clean up, I'm going to use an angled liner brush. This one's from Blink Brushes. This is all I use this brush for, is to clean up my brows. And so you just wanna add a little bit at a time, and you're just going to carve your brow out with this. Again, this is like difficult to do while talking because I don't wanna fuck up my brows. So it's carved out, I'm gonna blend the primer downwards because if it does, it will dry down and kind of show where that line is. So you wanna blend it out, but it doesn't dry too, too quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat those steps to my other brow and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and just completely finished this brow just because I didn't wanna keep like popping off camera. But this brow is done. So this is what I wanna kind of duplicate on the other side. So I'm gonna show you how I got the top all shaped out nicely. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my spoolie and kind of just like brush my hairs, my brow hairs kind of out of the way so I can clean up the top of my brow. So I'm kind of just like pushing them down a little bit cause they're in my way. And then I'm going to line the top of my brow with the lighter shade, which is going to be Crocodile Tears. Well, not the lightest shade, the medium one. And I'm just gonna line the top out then dip into the darkest shade and line the tail out. And then finally, the lightest shade and use that to kind of blend it all together. So I'm gonna flick upwards with that, so just like that. And you still wanna make sure those brow hairs are out of the way while you clean up because getting the primer in the brows kind of just ruins your brow and then you're kind of fucked. I'm gonna clean up with the same product. So I'm gonna use my angled liner brush here and some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna clean up my brow on top. I like to start at the arch and then work my way to the tail and I kind of always like draw a line out so I know kind of what I want to do. So and then the tricky part is actually doing the turn in your brow. 
I'm just going to start rounding it off and then I'm going to work on the front of the brow. And right when you get to the front, this is actually when you're going to start using like excess product in your brush and kind of blending upwards so that way it's like a soft ombre effect and not just harsh eyeshadow lines. And you're going to do that around the entire at front end of the eyebrow. So that is almost done with our brows. Next, I'm going to take the Benefit Highbrow and apparently sharpen it. All right, next I'm gonna take the Benefit Highbrow and I'm gonna use this just under my arches just to give it a little highlighting moment there. And it kind of helps cover up like if you have a few loose brow hairs there. I'm gonna take that same liner brush I was using to clean up my brows with and I'm gonna blend that down. Next, I'm going to go ahead and actually just set my brows on their own. And that's because there is eyeshadow in them. And I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Prep and Set Spray. It's almost time for me to re-up on this one. But I'm just going to like do it as far as way as possible and kind of just get the brows. And you wanna wait for that to dry before we do the next step. And when that's all dried down, want to go ahead and take a clear brow gel. I'm currently using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This isn't my favorite one, but I did get it in a BoxyCharm and I was out, so I restocked my favorite, but I'm gonna continue to use this. Now, when you use a clear brow gel, you have to remember the pigment on your that you put on is going to come off and be on the brush a little bit. So my clear brow gel has got a slight green tinge to it. And that's just because I do my eyebrows green. So say if you're doing this just to have fun or do like a fun look and it's not an everyday thing for you, make sure you don't use that same brow gel when you do your everyday brows because then you're gonna have color that you wouldn't want in your brow gel. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush the front of my brows up and then the rest of my brows kind of shape them into the lines. So I do leave like a little bit of spikiness in the front of my brows. So that is how I do my colored brows. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a full face of makeup and I'll be right back to talk about more of my favorite brow products that I enjoy using. So I've got my full face of makeup on. So now I wanna talk about some eyebrow products that I really enjoy that I didn't use in this video. I'm gonna start off with a bit of a strange one, but this is the About Face Fractal Brow. I believe this comes in four different shades. I have the purple and the green one. So it's basically the glitter brow. And I really, really enjoy this. Um, so basically it's just a green glitter that you can add into your brows. So it comes in a little component like this. And I absolutely love this if I'm doing a not so bold look because then I get a little bit of boldness, but not because of my eye look. So I really enjoy this product something you might want to try out. You're probably wondering like how could there be more products that you actually enjoy and weren't able to use and that is because my eyebrows are green. Like and if you don't want to do colored brows but you're looking for maybe like a red and it's going to be the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow in 2.75 which is the red auburn shade. Let me see if I can get this to show up. But this is a reddish brown shade right here and when my hair was red I would use it all the time so if you have red hair this is a great eyebrow pencil to use. I also really enjoy and, it, and I don't use this right now because my hair is green but this is the brow styler from Benefit Cosmetics and basically so it looks like this and there's two different ends so you've got the pencil right here which is basically the goof proof. And this is also in the shade 2.75. So these products are probably kind of old, but I haven't gotten rid of them because I find it hard for a pencil to go bad. I mean, it might be expired, but it doesn't look bad. But on the other side, you have brow powder. So, and I don't know why it has like something to shake it up. Maybe you're supposed to shake it up, but this is a great tool to fill in your brows. So I really, basically it's the same method that I use, but with an actual powder that's contained. 
Now this is unopened because this is in my backup drawer because they have them in boxy pop-ups sometimes. And when they do, I like buy two or three because they're only like four to six dollars. But my absolute favorite eyebrow gel is the Kush Clear Brow Gel from Milk Cosmetics. I'm not going to open this one because I'm still working on my ABH one and I don't want to waste it. So like, that's why I still use it. And one of the reasons why I'm not the biggest fan of this one is I really don't like the smell of it. It's like really potent and it's kind of like, kind of makes my nose hairs like stand up when I pull it out. I also just don't think the hold is as great as the one from Milk. Now I want to talk about products that I hate for brows and I don't see how people like them. Earlier I mentioned this product and it is the Lime Crime Bushy Brow. I do not like the pencil. The color is really nice. Even if the pencil, like the pencil's too thick, but even if it was, you know, even if it was a nice pencil, I would still use it with it being too thick, but I hate the formula of the pencil itself. Like it is very waxy and you have to use so much pressure to get to stick. It kind of starts to hurt. And then when you try to blend it, it just, it looks God awful. The next product is the KVD, what are these called? The KVD Super Brow Pomades. I tried this out when my hair was purple, which is why I have a purple one right here. I did not enjoy this product at all. I got a little use out of it. I just don't like the way it looks on my face. Maybe it's because I've always done the powdered brows, so I'm not a fan of the pomade, but just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade, I do not like this at all. And I forgot to mention this product that I enjoy, and I don't enjoy it for what it's made for, but as a primer for your brows for doing colored looks. I mentioned it earlier and I wanna mention it again, it is the Milk Kush Lash Primer. This stuff really works if you're gonna use powder to tint your eyebrows a different color for makeup looks. Like this is a must have because it, it, just, it just looks really nice, but it also does its job and it kind of also has a little bit of hold to it, so it kind of holds your brows in place as well. If y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment down below about what your, your favorite brow products are and the way that you do your brows. But until next time, y'all, bye.